Now, in our second scenario, assuming we are asked to draw the line 2x minus 3y is equal to 12, okay? And in our second question, we are asked to indicate why 2x minus 3y is less or equal to 12 for y, okay? So we have two scenarios here. The first one is 2x minus 3y equals to 12. We are asked to draw this line, okay? And the second one is we are asked to tell where, or indicate where by shading, where this will lie. 2x minus 3y is less or equal to 12. Now, if you are given a situation like this, I have um, to draw the line 2x minus 3y is equal to 12. The first thing we do is we find our x and y intercepts, okay? So we say for x intercept, for x intercept, put y equals to zero. So when y is zero, I have two x minus three times zero equals to 12. So this will give me two x is equal to 12, x is equal to six. This means that x is six, our y is what? Zero. Then we go and find our y intercept. So for y intercept, we put x to be equal to zero. So when x is zero, we shall have two times zero minus three y is equal to 12. Minus three y is equal to 12. Y is equal to negative four. This means x is zero and then y is what? Negative four. So with these two points, we go to our OXY plane. So assuming I have my OXY plane here, we go to our OXY plane and then we draw this line. We have zero to six, so six to zero, zero, let's say two, four, six, eight, negative two, negative four, negative six, negative eight. I have two, four, six, eight here too, negative two, negative four, negative six, negative eight, negative 10, okay? Now, where do I locate the point x axis and then y is zero? x is six, y is zero. So we have the point x is six, y is zero. Then we locate x is zero, y is negative four. Zero, negative four. So this is zero, negative four. We pick our long rule, okay? And then we draw the straight line, okay? This is the line, um, this is the line two x minus three y is equal to 12. So we have the line two x minus three y is equal to 12. You should know you'll be drawing this in the graph book. I'm just giving you a sketch. And then later you know how we do it collectively when we have different, different types of inequalities. Now, we are going to indicate where two x minus three y is less than twelve will lie. It can be, it can lie above the line or below the line. Okay, it can be above or below. It's two things. It goes above or below. So what we are going to do is we have, we are going to test for it. So in our test, we have two x minus three y is less than or equal to twelve. Now we are going to pick a point on the graph to test, but don't pick a point on this line. Okay, you can pick a point above the line or a point below the line. Now, assuming I want to pick a point above the line and I pick the origin, which is zero, zero. You see, the point zero, zero is above the line. And I use zero, zero to test, meaning X is zero, Y is zero. Now we test. When X is zero, Y is zero, I put it here. I have two times zero minus three times zero is less or equal to 12. So this is zero minus zero, which is zero. So zero is less than 12. Now in real life, in real life, is zero less than 12? Yes, zero is less than 12. So this is a true statement, okay? Now, because it is a true statement and this is above the, um, the line, I can say that this is where the origin line. But let me pick a point under the line. Let's say we pick a point, x is eight, y is negative six. Let's pick this point. And use it to test and see whether it will be true. X is 8, Y is negative 6. So this is the point. So now our test. We are picking another test. 2X minus 3Y is less than 12. X is 8, Y is negative 6. So 8, comma, negative 6. So we have 2 times 8 minus 3 times negative 6 is less than 12. 2, 8, 16. 6, 3 is also 18. So it becomes positive 18. Again, again. It's less than 12. So again, again, it's poor. So 16 plus 18 will give us um, 34. 
is less than 12. Okay? Now, is 34 less than 12? No, 34 is greater than 12. And over here, the symbol says 34 is less than 12. So this is a false statement. Now, because I picked the point here and it is false, and I picked the point here and it is true, it means that my solution lies above the line. So this is how we indicate that this line, what? The solution of this line is what? Lies above the line. So we can pick another example. Let's say x minus y is less than or equal to 2, okay? If I have x minus y is less than or equal to 2, and I've been asked to draw the line x minus y is equal to 2. So you realize that you find your x and y intercepts first. So let me just do a quick sketch here. So when x is 0, so if when you find your y intercept, when x is 0, y will be equal to what? Negative 2. So I have 0, negative 2. And then when y is 0, x is what? 2. So we have 2, 0. So you realize that when I, I sketch this curve, let's say this is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. I have 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8. So I have 0, 2, 0, negative 2. 0, negative 2 is here. And then 2, 0 is here. Then I draw my straight line. Okay? This is the line. So after finding your x and y intercept, you realize that this is your line. Then you test. So in our test, we have um, x minus y is less than or equal to 2. I'm using 0, 0 to test. It is above the line. So 0, 0. So 0 minus 0 is less or equal to 2. 0 is less than 2. So 0 is less than 2 is a true statement, which means that our solution lies above the line. Okay? One more example. One more example. So assuming I have 4x plus 3y is greater or equal to, let's say, um, let's make it x plus 3y is greater or equal to 6. x plus 3y is greater or equal to 6. So x plus 3y is equal to 6. Let's say we have been asked to draw this graph. We have asked to draw this graph and indicates where the solution of this will lie. Okay? I'm just picking them single, um, like single inequalities first. Then we come to the collective one. So let's say we want to indicate where this will lie. So when x is 0, let's say we find our x intercept. When x is 0, y is 2. So we have 0, 2. And then when y is 0, x is 6. So we have 0, sorry, 6, 0. Because when x is, um, when y is 0, x is 6. So we have 0 here, then x is equal to 6. Then we go to our OXY plane. We draw our graph. So we have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, 2, 4, 6, negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. Then we look at x is 0, y is 2. So 0, 2 is here. And then x is 6, y is 0. 6, 0 is here. Then we draw our line. So this is our line. Okay? So this is the line x plus 3y is equal to 6. Now we want to show whether the solution is above or below. We want to know. So we test. So in our test, we shall be using x plus 3y is greater or equal to 6. x plus 3y is greater or equal to 6. Okay? Now, over here, I can pick a point below and above. Okay? you pick a point below or a point above the line. So picking a point below the line, let's say we pick 0, 0, which is below. So x is 0, y is 0. I have 0 plus 3 times 0 is greater or equal to 6. 0 is greater than 6. Now you ask yourself, is 0 greater than 6 in real life? No. So this is a false statement. And because this is false, I use this to test and it is false. This means that our solution lies above the line. Now, we have a special situation. A situation where the line is passing through the origin. Okay? And I can use the origin to test. So let's pick an example of um, such nature. Okay? Where the line is passing through the origin. So let's pick that example. 